Jason, we look at a lot of moving head LED fixtures, but this is possibly the chunkiest one we've actually had through by mm. way of a wash light. It is, of course, the Martin Mac Quantum Wash. Mm. Now, inside this rather big head is uh, or are 50 15 watt RGBW LED chips. Yep, that's a stonking lot of wattage. It's 750 it, watts. In yeah, time. it's yep. a 750 watt LED mm. fixture. Wow. Whoever would have thought we'd see the day. Mm, mm, and bright. Yeah, this this smacks of brightness. This has got output for days. We're running at about half a percent or something <laughs> here, just because otherwise it completely blows mm. out the camera. Mm. Uh, we will. Uh, stick some ND filters in the camera in a little mm. while and shoot some cutaways with this at full tilt just mm. so you can get a full and proper appreciation of mm. just how seriously bright the thing actually is. Mm. Now the thing that I find most interesting about this fixture is the beam twisting and the way that the lens uh, can create these almost like 60s oil wheel effects. It's really, really interesting. Can you explain how that works? Because I still yeah, can't look, get my it, head around it's it. It's kind of hard to understand, but essentially mm. there are there are concentric rings of, of, of chips, right? Yeah. So we've got, I think, 20 on the outer, then 16, then 10, then, then four, four, or yeah. something like that. Um, and what happens is that as the lens twists, because uh, the whole front lens, it's like the Mac Aura lens, mm. only much bigger, uh, as the lens twist, Various sets of rings will line up above their corresponding LED engines, uh, but you'll only get one ring line up at a time. Mm, so mm. it'll twist, the outer ring will line up and you'll get the very tightly collimated outer ring. Mm. Then it'll keep moving and that will defocus as the next ring comes into focus. Mm. So what the effect of that is, is that you get these bizarre psychedelic sort yeah. of very it is as you say sort of yeah, kind of a 60s, 60s throwback oil. to the oil I, I love it i think it's a fantastic effect yeah look it, it is a fantastic effect i think it's it's one of those things you've got to be uh careful not to make it a one-trick pony yeah, yeah but um used sparingly and i guess th there is also you know th there's the aura lens yeah. illuminators as well you can light the lens up just mm. like on an aura mm. yeah now that's not the only thing that's just like an aura yeah no we can actually like you can we can match the color temperature yes yeah. So I can just fit in with any existing rig. Yeah, so if you've already got auras, they're all factory mm. calibrated to produce white at specific color temperatures yep. corresponding to whatever DMX values you punch into the white channel value. Mm. This will produce exactly the same white. It's factory calibrated to match the auras. So mm. that's nice. It can integrate well. Mm. Yeah, okay. So pretty big, pretty chunky, beautifully made. Very, very quiet, I've noticed too. Yeah, this is one of the quietest fixtures it, we've had It in is very quiet, especially in movement as well. Um, when you're zooming fast, it, it, it makes a bit of noise. Mm. There is quite a bit of weight in this. It yeah. actually, it like it's not it's not an impossible lift, mm. but uh, there, there is a fair bit of weight in it, as you'd expect. Um, one thing surprising, no art net. Mm. Yeah, why uh, do you think they've done that? I don't know. Um, look, it, it's... It's sort of, we're seeing cha fixtures use more and more channels mm. uh, to control and whether they think that people are going to sort of stack multiples on the same address or whatever, or they're just going to run a lot of universes. Uh, and that's the other thing is that it, it's pretty cheap to run a lot of DMX universes yeah. these days. Mm. And the other thing is that that gives you some redundancy. If you do get something in your, in your DMX chain, go belly up, mm. then mm. you're not going to lose an entire rig. You just mm. lose whatever's on that leg of the console. Mm. But look, um, I think this is a very impressive fixture, and I, I think value-wise, if, mm. if you look at it price-wise, it's it's actually, for the amount of output you get out yeah. of it, it, it's pretty seriously good deal. Yeah, I agree.